welcome back to a brand new video where today three new weapons have been added to Modern Warfare Remastered. Yes, three new weapons have been added to Modern Warfare Remastered. If you guys remember, a few months ago, I spoke about supply drops being added to Modern Warfare Remastered and Activision said it was only going to be cosmetic items. However, a few months down the line, we're now seeing additional weapons. Activision have given us a statement into terms of why they're giving us some extra weapons. Apparently, they want to, you know, make the game more balanced. And as it is quite an old game, you know, hype it up a little bit more with some new variants of weapons. Obviously, it's quite a big update to Modern Warfare Remastered. It's a game which we very loved much back in 2007. And everything's been perfect. You know, they added supply drops, fair enough. But it was many cosmetic items. Now they're adding in more cosmetic items and three new weapons to help balance out the game. I guess for them, it's the usual now. Like every Call of Duty which comes out, there's supply drops and you can get new weapons, new camos, new cosmetic items, etc. And I'm guessing we all knew that eventually it was going to come to Modern Warfare Remastered. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the three brand new weapons and the statement from the guys over at Activision. Currently, we have no information on the patch note itself. Yesterday's video, I spoke to you guys regarding what could be in the patch, but currently there is no patch note information. So when the patch notes are live, I will be creating a new video talking about the patch in full. But today's video is talking all about the new weapons being added to Modern Warfare Remastered. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to show a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. Are you a fan? of new weapons being added to Modern Warfare Remastered. As you guys know, this is my bread and butter, you know. I absolutely love Modern Warfare Remastered. What a game. And just for me, new weapons, I'm, I'm guessing it's okay, as long as, you know, they're not, like, too overpowering or whatever. Angavision did say that this was all to help balance the game, but, you yeah, know, no, no. we'll find out when we start playing it and future patch updates and what kind of stuff. But the first few weapons to talk about, so we have a new shotgun, we have a new assault rifle, and we have a new pistol. So those are the three categories of new weapons. The first weapon is a Kamchata 12. Knowing me, I probably pronounced it wrong, and some guy down below, some gun enthusiast, be like, Matt, it's spelled like this. I do apologize. I, I try my best. It's like the Cam Catcher 12. We're just going with that. It's a fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun from the Russian origin and features a eight round attachable box magazine. I, why are we doing opera? I don't even know why we're doing opera, but no, that's it's a pretty cool gun, I have to admit. There's an image on the screen for you guys to see all the new weapons and let me know your thoughts just down below. Uh, you know, a shot, I don't really use shotguns, but if you do, then, you know, it's, it's another gun. It's another shotgun added to the category just to spice things up a bit, which I'm not, you know, it's okay. I'm, I'm not too fast about that. The second gun is an assault rifle. So this is the XM-LAR. It's a fully automatic assault rifle, comes from the European theater, and utilizes a 7.62 times 51 millimeter NATO cartridges in a 30 round detachable box. And people are saying this is to compete with the M16 to make it more, you know, balanced, I guess. But the assault rifles in Modern Warfare Remastered or Call of Duty 4, for me, there's so much range to choose from. Adding another gun is just going to make it a little bit more complicated. Like, uh, which one do I want to play with this time, you know? But, you know, there's so many guns in the assault rifle category. I wish they maybe added maybe some more to the LMGs, but we never know. You might be seeing this in the future. Now, finally, the new pistol. It is the 44 Magnum. Who doesn't love the 44 Magnum? Yes, it's to compete with the Desert Eagle, I guess. But, you know, another gun to the secondary weapons for your pistols. This is a classic 44 Magnum six-round revolver featuring a civilized military grip and a signature long barrel. So let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. These are obviously available through supply drops. Now, there's one question. Question I would like to ask you guys, the viewers, because I'm sure someone out there knows this answer. And I really want to know, and I think I know the answer, but I just want to get some extra information about it and whether or not you can leave a comment down below answering my question. Now, what does this lock symbol mean against this DLC weapon or any weapon in general? Occasionally, when you have a new additional content, it has this lock symbol, but it also says zero out of six collections. And when you go into the collections, you can see like the calling card, the camos, etc. And I'm guessing once you've got a few collections, it tells you how many you've got there. 
and it also tells you how much salvage you need to actually buy that gun. I think that's the answer. But if someone out there could let me know what the lock symbol means, that'd be greatly appreciated because I'm a little bit confused. But I think I know the answer, but just please let me know. Now, the final thing to talk about is the message from Activision. Why on earth are they adding new weapons to Modern Warfare Remastered? Well, they've said this. Today, we're excited to support Modern Warfare Remastered with more content and introduce even more customization items into Modern Warfare Remastered. Personalization continues to be enjoyed by the community. So apparently a lot of people out there enjoy this kind of stuff. But you also mentioned that we also look very closely at gameplay balance as well. Like everyone, we absolutely love the weapons currently in the game, but wanted to add even more variety to the game. Okay, fair enough. Today, we're adding three modern era guns. You got the Cam Shutter 12, the automatic shotgun, the XM LAR, the assault rifle, and the 44 Magnum pistol. Like every other gun, they each have their strengths and weaknesses to ensure proper game balance and through extensive testing, we know players will have a blast. As a studio, our number one priority is balance. So this is potentially the main reason why they're adding this in. And obviously, of course, the commercial side of things. Obviously, more people want to spend money on supply draws because potentially of some new weapons, etc. But please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. What is your favorite weapon if you had to choose one? If someone said to you right now, I will give you one of these weapons for free. I'm guessing the Magnum or the Assault Rifle. I'm not really a shotgun guy, but please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. But if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to put a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding the new weapons being added to Modern Warfare Remastered. But as always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.